Hey, McDowan here. Today we are taking a look at both Rhino and Jackal styles of Beast Mode from McFarlane's Fortnite action figure line. Beast Mode is an epic skin, and he's part of the Mech Animal set. Released in Chapter 1 Season 8, this skin can be purchased from the in-game store for 1500 V-Bucks when available. These figures are just under 8 inches tall, about 7 and 3 fourths. This is what they look like around some of the other various McFarlane Fortnite action figures. Here they stand next to a couple other 7 inch scale action figures. And here they are next to a few 6 inch scale action figures. Now we're going to take a look at the accessories. They both come with the same named harvesting tool, the mauler. This one looks a little bit more like this guy because he's got this little spike here that I would say represents the horn. It's got some exhaust pipes, a red handle. It's very, it looks a lot like this character. I think you could match it, the blue of the blue, red, red. But uh, yeah, very cool, boom, 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 harvesting tool. And we have the other Mauler harvesting tool. This one, well, looks a lot like this guy. <laughs> it's a chainsaw with a mohawk, exhaust pipes, the yellow, the orange, match him quite well. They're very interesting, the different styles that you can have for these figures. They both come with the V6 back bling. That makes it sound like an engine. Well, when you rotate it this way, you can see some engine parts here so it must be the little back bling engine that keeps them going you can see that they're exactly the same they're just repainted this one to match this guy and this one to match this guy over here so the v6 back bling they both come with a couple of pipes that well look like this these actually plug into their backs on these ends right there they plug into the back I'm guessing these are some exhaust pipes for as they are mechanically working and doing things you know bad fumes come out that, this way <laughs> so I guess a couple of exhaust pipes is what they come with Jackal comes with a quad launcher and this looks absolutely fantastic I think there's some nice splotches weathering I don't know if that's rust or what the the paint is wiped in such a way that it just looks very textured and kind of gritty unfortunately there's no missiles that'd be cool if the missiles actually came in you could maybe you know this is where I go with toy wise and I know McFarlane's not going for toys specifically but a little button that you could launch the missiles yeah we know we'll let Jazzers tend to that right uh, but yeah very very nice looking this has a red scope on the side and I'm not really sure if I broke it somehow pulling it out of the package but this piece seems to fall off a lot actually you know I'm not even sure why this is a piece but it comes off and it it, it seems to keep falling off on me and so I made the mistake I know I kind of grabbed it and pulled it a little bit to try and get this out of the package. I didn't pull that hard though. So I don't know if this is, I need to investigate to see if this is a piece that actually is supposed to be able to come out. If not, I may glue it back in because it just, it's kind of obnoxious. Lucky for you, it's not falling out. But that's a, that's a strange little piece. Why that's there, I don't know. Or why that's a, a separate piece, I don't know. All right, cool. A quad launcher. And I misspoke for the quad launcher. That actually came with Rhino. This guy over here, I'm not sure why it's a Jackal. This actually came with Jackal, and it's a minigun. And again, this looks really pretty nice. You can see some detail in here, the green and the silver. Uh, very, it's really neat looking. There are some pieces up here that are a little bit, I would consider them fragile. These are the little covers. I, from what I, I'm guessing, these are covers that when the gun rotates, it's not shooting sparks or bullet shells or something. I'm, I'm guessing this is some sort of a cover, but mine came out a little bit bent just because of how it was in the package. You'll probably, if I warm it up, it'll probably stretch out, but I'm not really sure exactly how those are supposed to be. I, I think as long as they're just kind of doing that, you get the idea. The handle kind of moved back and forth at one point for me, but it's not really doing that now. So I'd be kind of gentle if when putting in this in their hands because it is a something that moves around, and if you just shove the hand on there, you might break this part. 
I don't know, maybe it is supposed to move back and forth. Maybe it just needs to be warmed up. I don't know. I'm not going to say move this back and forth. I'm going to say be careful because you don't want to break this. This is a pretty nice looking gun. I like the mold and I like the look. I can't wait to, to get this up on display. There's a little opening down there. Very cool mini gun. All right, articulation time. These figures have 22 points of articulation. They are exactly the same except for a few, I'd say maybe cosmetic differences. That's funny because these are cosmetics in games. But anyway, uh, this guy has a horn, whereas this guy just has a flat face. This guy has a mohawk, whereas this guy doesn't. He has an antenna. Other than that, the figures are exactly the same and that's why I'm doing the video together because why do a video when I can talk about both of them, right? Saves you a little bit of time. So the 22 points of articulation are pretty standard with McFarlane, except there is absolutely no head movement. These heads and torsos, chest areas, are combined into one thing. There is nothing there. His waist will wiggle around, like so. His torso wiggles around. He can raise his arms about that high. Stand up. Don't fall over. <laughs> <laughs> because of his shoulder armor, he does have the ball joint type of uh, butterfly in there. Bicep rotates, double pin at the elbow, ball joint at the wrist for a hinge and rotation. If you want him to do the splits, though, they're only going to go about that far because of the side hip armor here. There is double pin at the, and he keeps wanting to fall over. I'll talk about this guy in a minute. Stay. Stay. Come on, Rhino. Stay. <laughs> Whatever. He's got double pin at the knee and a ball joint at the ankle. And again, you can uh, bring his foot back and a little forward, but you can't really rotate it back and forth because of the shin armor that... Okay, over here. The shin armor that stretches down so far, you just can't do that. And there is toe articulation. Yep, that much. Because it bumps into the, the piece of armor that's across the foot. So there are some hindrances with this figure. You can uh, put his foot out about that far. Or his leg out about that far. You can put his leg back about that far. So if you wanted to, you, I suppose you could put him into a really fancy, cool walking position if you can get him to stay. Um... I guess, <laughs> if, if you wanted to put him in a walking position. I don't know. By the way, I also forgot to mention, they both come with these Fortnite figure stands. I almost always, I feel like I always forget the figure stands. But they all come with a figure stand, so it doesn't matter, right? This guy seems to be heavy. When, I, when I'm holding them both up, this one seems more heavy than this guy. This guy is lighter. The blue guy, Rhino, I'm going to set this guy off to the side maybe. Maybe. Stand him off to the side. I'm going to have to lay him. This guy is having trouble with his ankles. He likes to fall forward a lot. And actually, that's probably good for you to see. He can get him forward about that far. But his ankles or toes seem to be loose, and he just likes to uh, fall forward a lot. I have to kind of try to balance him back just a little bit. You can see he's kind of leaned backwards just a little, but uh, yeah. So, oh, I know what I was going to show you. I was also going to show you back here on his back, there's the peg for the back bling, and here are two holes for these exhaust pieces here. And you'll know that they're like a half circle, so they only go in one way. They go in sticking up, and they just slide in like that. And they slide in like that for some reason. There we go. So for some reason, this one, I had to kind of open the hole a little bit. But that's how they go. And I can see why they weren't this way in the package. They are, I would say, fragile package-wise. And they probably, I don't know, I'm looking at the plastic right now. Maybe it would be fine, but it's probably better that they, uh, that they included replaceable or whatever not replaceable but um uh, attachable exhaust and then the engine goes on i'm pretty sure just like that i'm looking at these pouches and they look like this is the direction that the back bling would go 
So, you know, these were not some of my favorite looking skins in game. And so I wasn't really anxious. I wasn't in a huge hurry to go and get them. So <laughs> that's why I waited and I eventually saw them at Ross. And I was like, hey, I'll get these. They're at Ross. They're discount now. That's how I support the line. No, I'm kidding. Um, actually, almost all McFarlane figures I have purchased through Ross, except for the Plastic Patroller. I bought him brand new. All the rest of them have actually been through Ross. So, I wasn't so sure about these figures when I first got them or I saw them. I was like, ah, I don't know. You know, they're McFarlane Fortnite. I've been getting them all, so maybe I'll go ahead and just get these. There's a few that I'm not real sure about. I'm not super in a hurry, super anxious to get. But overall, I actually like these guys. I, I kind of like their bulk. I kind of like how they work. They feel like a nice, strong, sturdy figure to me. Uh, I think they're put together really pretty well. And just, you know, kind of wrapping it up, I like them a whole lot better than I thought I would. I'm still kind of not really crazy about the whole head face thing. I think they kind of look goofy, but from like the neck down, they're actually a pretty good, pretty solid figure. Um, yeah, I kind of like it. Almost like a mechanical warrior of sorts with, yeah, there he goes again, uh, with their armor, their shoulder plates, their, the armor around their waist and the gauntlets and stuff. They're kind of like a mechanical warrior to me. But anyway, so there's my little thoughts on these figures. I do recommend them if you come across them. If you don't have them yet, they're a couple years old. They came out in 2019. So I do recommend them if you come across them at discount. You, you're probably not going to find them brand new. In, well, you'll find them brand new at discount, but like at Target, I haven't seen these for quite some time now. Alrighty, now it is your turn. What do you think about these figures and how I presented them to you? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and on your way out, check out my recent review, well, at least recent as in the last review I did, Red Strike, in the lower left corner. Anyway, please like this video, share it everywhere, it really helps the channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.